Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how do you delete files using Bash script. And there are a couple of parameters that I can pass, couple of switches I, am, I can pass. I am going to talk about that in detail. This is going to be a very helpful video for you. So let's move on to our screen and let's get started. All right. So the very first thing what we will do, we are going to create a folder. We'll name it as demo on the desktop. Now in this folder, we are going to create few files. So let me create few text documents. All right. So now I have created few text documents. So how do I delete it? The command is quite simple. So what we will do, let's start writing the command and see what is the exact command we have to write. So the command is quite simple. It's del, D-E-L, del, or also you can write erase. Okay. There are two commands. You can go with del, delete. Okay. D-E-L. Now here I have to delete what these files, isn't it? So let's say what I will do. I'm going to copy the path of the folder where that file exists. And let's say I would like to point out to a specific file. Okay. So let's, let me create one more file and let me name it as ABC. Okay. ABC I have given and here I am going to write ABC. Okay. Now here, is it going to work or not? So if I'm going to save it and I'm going to run this specific script, delete files. Okay. I run it. If I go here, the ABC is still there. Okay. So sometime if it is hap if that happens to you, what you do simply write the, uh, you know, extension of that file, which is a dot is a text file. So I'm writing TXT. So here I'm deleting a specific targeted file. Okay. So let me run this script once again. And if I go back, you can see the file has been deleted. Okay. What if, if you see that file was quite simple, it was simply ABC. In this particular file, there are spaces. You can see new space, then text, then there is a space. So if you take this particular file name, for example, if I just copy this and go to the script and I'm going to mention something like this. Okay. Is it going to work? So I'm going to save it and I'm going to run it. Now, if I go back, you can see the file has not been deleted. Whenever you have a space, remember in Bash script, whenever you have space, all you do put that in a quotation mark. Okay. So when you put that in a quotation mark, it will take that as one block of information and it is going to process it. So let me save it. And now if I process, if I execute, you can see the file has been deleted. Okay. Now let, let, let us create, I'm going to show you a few more things. Okay. Now, um, there are a couple of, um, what is happening? Uh, generally the hackers will create such a script and they are going to delete all the files without your knowledge. It will just execute and your files are gone. Now, let's say if you like to get a prompt, you know, it should prompt you before it, it can delete. So for that, um, all I will do, I will pass a simple switch called P. What is that P for? P for prompt. You can write in capital letter, small letter, doesn't matter. Okay. Lower case, upper case, doesn't matter. So here I am passing P, P for prompt. Now, if you see, if I'm going to run this particular script, what has happened? It is prompting me. Hey, Rakesh, would you like to delete this? Yes or no? Only when, if I say yes, then this new text or document will get deleted. If I say Y and it on enter. Now, if I go back, you can see the file which was there has been deleted. Got it? So you learned once, uh, no, one um, uh, switch. Now, let me show you a couple of things. Help, if you write help del. What is this useful for? Deletes one or more files. It is not talking about deleting folders. It is talking about deleting files such as a text file, Excel file, PDF file. It's not talking about the folder. For folder, make directory and remove directory. There is something called RD. I am going to show you later. But it is for deleting files. Remember that. Okay. Now there are multiple switches. You have learned the first switch, which is P. Okay. Now what is this F? F is for force close. Okay. If you want to force close or force delete, uh, right? Some other application has occupied that you would like to force delete. Then you go for F. Okay. All you have to do simply instead of, you can, you know, it doesn't matter how many switches you would like to use. You want to use multiple switches. You can write this way. So if I save this, first of all, create that file because we have already deleted that. So let me create a file. And if I go here, 
let me save this and if I'm going to uh, run this particular script you can see it has prompted me, prompted me and I'm going to say yes to it hit on enter so this is going to force close we cannot see that until unless there is a practical situation like that but that is the purpose of it okay now there is, there is another switch called s what is that remember s means subdirectory slash d means directory so s means subdirectory okay so it is going to delete any file present inside the subdirectory okay let me show you that what what does that mean if i am going to create some directory so let, let me create a folder okay so the folder got created let's say in one of the folder i am going to create a text document okay this also has the same name and also in the main one i am going to have you know both are having same name you can see new text document this is two but this one is same and inside this also you have a similar name now if i'm writing a script saying hey you go and delete new text document wherever it is wherever you know not only this directory wherever they are inside the sub directories also then all i have to do okay i, I don't want to prompt it i'll remove that and all i have to do simply write slash s you can write in uppercase lowercase doesn't matter okay whichever you, way you want so save it now if i go and run this what would happen it got executed now if i go here you can see here there was a text document that got deleted and if i go to the new folder even there it got deleted so you have understood three different parameters one is you have understood p f and s now what is this q i am going to show you what is this q is all about quite mode what is that so generally uh, without even writing it it generally runs in a quiet mode until unless you write a p right so what is this quiet mode i am going to show you let's say um, you know uh, instead of specifying uh, um, let me create few files okay let's say this folder uh, uh, the demo folder contains let me go to the demo folder okay so I have cleared everything let's say I have created a file here okay so inside the demo folder if I am creating few files okay so I have created three files here inside this demo folder if I, what would happen if i'm going to pass only this rather than writing the txt file name i'm only passing until here i'm going to remove the file name so what would happen you are telling hey whatever is there inside that folder go and delete it anything that you find you go and delete it that's what you are the instruction you are giving right okay uh, folder also you know inside this demo so i will remove this s okay i'll write very simple one delete whatever you find inside this you go and delete it so what happens by writing this command because we have not specified a specific file type or file name what would happen by this if i am going to uh, execute this particular script okay it will automatically prompt you so that means you are saying star star means what anything there inside the folder you delete it so that is where it is going to prompt you this is called global prompt okay you get a global prompt and the moment only when you say yes it is going to delete that and if i go back it has deleted everything okay now let me show you if you don't want that prompt also if you don't want to see that prompt okay this is again a lot of hackers do it but again um, you know let's say i don't want to even see that specific uh, prompt you know where it is getting giving a prompt to the user if you want to hide that all you have to do is simply use this parameter q so how I will do it? I'll simply write forward slash Q and save it and run it. So last time you saw it, it had given me a prompt. Now look at it. What's going to happen if I'm going to run it? The moment I run it, see, it disappeared. If I go back to the demo folder, it is gone. Getting it? It did not even give you a prompt. So by giving just the directory name, somebody can delete it if they have, you know, written. Uh, this is only for a learning purpose or just to be aware that hackers could write such a script so do not blindly click on any bad script that you get okay be very very careful try to see what is being written if you could open it all right so you can see it has uh, without even prompting it has deleted my files from the demo folder okay now um, there are also certain things called uh, attribute that we can pass h hidden files not content and all, all those things now there will be also questions like is what if i would like to delete uh, only txt files uh, you know there are there could be multiple different files. for example if i go to my documents folder you can see there are multiple different uh, python files excel file text file so many things are there 
what if I would only like to delete only the text files? Okay, it is pretty simple. All you have to do, you uh, know, let's say I would like to only delete text file. So I will put a star, the name could be anything, dot txt. That means the name could be anything, but only delete the TX, you know, text files. Let's say I want to only delete the Excel files, or I want to delete only the PDF files. So like that we can write. Okay, or you want to, uh, you know, what is the meaning of this? Star dot star means the name could be anything, the extension could be anything, or simply by writing star also it will work. Okay, simply by putting a star also it's going to do the same job. Getting it? If a file has a space, then always remember to quote it. Okay. Uh, sometimes the file I said that in the beginning, right? When you have a space, you have to put it in the code. So these are a couple of important facts that you have learned about delete. Um, okay, and these are very very powerful commands. You know, we can do anything with these commands if you know uh, del. And there is also similar command called erase. Okay, so let me show you erase how that works. Uh, with the same one, uh, all I will do. Uh, where is the demo folder? I closed it. Okay, so I'll, I went to the demo folder and let me create a um, text document here called new text document. Okay, so this text document, let's say I would like to delete it. I'll copy this. I'll create one more text document. Okay, but I want to only create, delete the, uh, erase the first one. So what I will do, I'll, I'll just, instead of DEL, I will say erase. Okay, erase. Okay, and uh, not in quite mode. Erase and then I'll provide that specific file dot txt and I have to put a double code so that because it has a space right the file has a space uh, in the name so I'll, if I do this and um, if I'm going to hit on delete and if I go to the demo folder you can see that got deleted and the explanation also uh, given here clearly okay um, for example um, if I say help erase okay the definition also says the same thing okay deletes one or more files getting it and you have got a lot of examples how to utilize it um, you know um, and you have learned how this command works so thank you very much let's move on to our next um, video before that please do like and do share our videos uh, to other people who would like to learn and after completing any of this topic please say complete it so that i know people are watching and take you know benefit from this topics Thank you guys, let's move on to our next topic.